And only on RTV6. It's a situation that puts every Indianapolis citizen and all our emergency responders at risk. That's Fake right. Fake 911 call. Several hoax calls were made early this morning and several more were made earlier this week. RTV6 reporter Jack Reinhardt looked into the problem. He joins us live from our Monument Circle studio now with details. Jack. Well, Tanya, 911 operators uh, took several uh, fake phone calls this morning, which tied up Metro Police for much of the morning. And earlier this week, police locked up a man who tied up the 911 center for much of a day. 911, location of your emergency. A cry for help or a cry of wolf. Beginning around midnight, E911 operators began taking bogus calls for help. Police special 34. Yes, ma'am. I just shot my wife. She had a knife, so I shot her, and she had. She had the baby in arms, and I actually shot the baby, and I think they're both dead. Metro Police responded to the prank call with 13 officers. All told, police spent the equivalent of 29 and a half man hours on the scene on a hoax to all but the residents who lived at the house. I have no idea why anybody would want to do anything like that. It's just kind of crazy, especially to be woken up at 3.30 in the morning and have the police shining flashlights in your face. Last month alone, 911 operators took nearly one quarter of a million phone calls and dispatched nearly 67,000 police officers, fire equipment, and ambulances. Your adrenaline gets going as a dispatcher, you know, because you want to help. You want to get there as soon as you can and take care of what needs to be taken care of. And so, and that, did that turn out to be a hoax or a, a you know, it's, it's sad, you know, the people that, the mindset. This is the solution. You made the problem, and I'll make the solution. Look at that. On Monday, Metro Police locked up Hussein Garoub. On Sunday, police say, he called the 911 center 72 times, ranting about the country and threatening a jihad. Investigators say his calls tied up 911 operators for more than four hours. Hey, Sir, thank you. I'm not going to argue with you. I'm disconnecting. Unfortunately, you can't just ignore it. You have to send on it, which takes up not just the calls, the phone, but also the officer's time. The 911 center is on pace to receive nearly two million phone calls this year. If even one percent are prank calls, that would tie up lots of public safety resources and put the public at risk. I think we should do whatever we can to stop that. You know, it, the, the bottom line is, you know, that prank call may cost somebody else their life. Now, Garub is later released from custody, but authorities obtained a restraining order prohibiting him from placing non-emergency calls to the 911 center. And in the case of that bogus phone caller, investigators have strong leads, meaning that suspect might get a call of his own. Reporting live downtown, Jack Reinhardt, RTV6.